Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to test applications that has external API integrations using Wiremark and Mock Server. Let us imagine we are building an application and our application is using some external REST APIs. Testing such application is a little bit tricky because if you try to use the actual uh, REST API that you are going to use in production, there are some challenges like you don't have full control over what is the response that actual real service is going to return. And also, maybe you have some logic like uh, if a API call is failing, you want to show some different response or uh, maybe this REST API is a paid one and you don't want to use um, this real paid service during testing. So in such scenarios, it is advised to use some mock API instead of talking to the REST, uh, actual REST API. So there are certain tools like uh, there is a wire mock and there is mock server and there are few other options but these are the kind of uh, very popularly used mock services. So how we use these tools to um, test these integrations? So in our application most likely we configure the base URL of the external API and instead of using that base URL we are going to uh, spin up a mock server and then set up the steps for API endpoints and then runtime while during uh, execution of the test instead of using this actual base URL we are going to switch the local uh, mock server URL so from your application when you are making a request it is not going to talk to the actual service instead it is going to send that request to this mock service so we are uh, in in this setup we are able to uh, set up the response what kind of a response you want to return so you can set up some mock response and say okay when you get a request with this url pattern return this response or when you get a response uh, request with this url pattern uh, throw some error so you can set up that uh, expectations uh, steps for the request and then you can test your application flow Now let us take a sample Spring Boot application that is talking to a external REST API. Okay, So here we have a Spring Boot Wiremark demo in which we are building a simple REST API and we are going to talk to a third party service and which is nothing but a GitHub API. So let us see what uh, we have built in our application. So here uh, it's a simple Spring Boot application and we have a GitHub controller and we have a endpoint API slash user slash some username and we are going to take that username and we are going to make a call to GitHub service start get GitHub profile. So we are passing that uh, username and here we are configuring this um, base URL of GitHub API uh, base URL using this property which is configured in our application.properties. So this is the uh, property we have and this is the value. This is actual GitHub API base URL and we are making an API call like that base URL slash users slash username. It is going to return the data of that particular GitHub user. So we can even test this out like we can take this github url and navigate to this slash users slash sivaprasad So here we can see all this information from github api okay. So we are going to use this uh, github api from our application and get the data and we'll show as part of our application. So here in GitHub service, we are making that API call using REST template. And then we are marshalling all that data into our own class GitHub user. So we are interested in only some of the properties. So we add all those properties and we are marshalling that response into our uh, GitHub user class. If there are any errors in this flow, we are catching a runtime exception and then we are logging the exception and finally we are throwing our own github service exception so when controller is calling that and if there is any failure it is going to uh, catch by this exception handler over here it is going to catch this github exception uh, github service exception and it is going to build a simple uh, api error object which contains just message and then 
we are going to return the response with internal server error 500 status code and the body is nothing but api error which contains message property so this is the application we have we can actually run this now and see how it works so the application started now this is the actual github api uh, url but we are going to use localhost 8080 api users slash i am giving this uh, username here so now i can see the response from the application internally it is going to talk to the github api and get this data and then show it here okay so this is working fine but now i want to test this as i mentioned i don't have full control over uh, github api so if i want to test the failure scenario where if uh, due to network failures or whatever the reason if my call to the github api fails i want to show uh, a response with status 500 and message what are the error messages i want to display but using the actual service i cannot do that i cannot uh, make this github api to throw exception so that is why we want to use tools like wiremark or mock server things like that now let us see how we can test this application using wiremark so first let us see what are the dependencies we need to add for wiremark so here we have added this wiremark gre8 standalone okay and this is all we need for using wiremark so once we have added this dependency let us see how we can write integration test for it so we have github controller integration test and annotated with at spring boot test because we want to load the entire application and then test this and we are going to use mock mvc to fire the http request so we auto configure mock mvc and then injected mock mvc object okay so this is where uh, we are starting a wire mock server using wire mock extension so uh, wire mock api provides this junit5 extension where you can use it to spin up a wire mock server like this okay so here we are configuring to start this wire mock server on a dynamic port instead of on a fixed port because if you are running this uh, test suite on pipeline and there are multiple pipelines if you give a static port there could be a conflicts and it is gonna fail so that's why it is preferred to use dynamic port so with this one it is going to <coughs> take care of starting the wire mock server automatically and then using a uh, spring boots dynamic property source uh, approach we are registering this github api base url property with wire mock server url so as we have seen the production value for this github api base url is https api github.com but we want to spin up a mock server and switch the actual server with that mock server base url so that we can stub uh, responses for certain api endpoints so that's what we are doing here instead of talking to the actual github server we are switching the base url uh, value to mock servers base url and then we have our first test where you should get a github user profile successfully here so we are going to mock uh, api call to the github server so if you go back and see in github service we have this base url slash users slash username this is the url that we are going to use for fetching the user profile information so in order to test our uh, scenario we should mock this api endpoint so that's what we are doing here what we are saying is if the mock server get a request wire mock server get a request with a matching url pattern like this users slash anything any username we don't care and this should return a response with this header um, we are going to return json type response and the response is this so we are stopping the response uh, what is the response we would like to return when we make a request to this users slash some value so here i am including only few properties and then i am making a request to my application endpoint not to the github uh, api endpoint this is api users slash username is nothing but my api endpoint here api user slash 
username so when i make a, a http uh, request to this endpoint it is going to come here and go to github service start get github uh, user profile and here instead of github uh, api url this will be mock server uh, wire mock server api url and it is going to make this call so this is what we stubbed in our setup so it is going to give the response like this and it is going to marshal into github uh, user object and then our application is going to give the response so once we got the response we are uh, checking whether the status is okay or not and we are checking whether the login is uh, what we ask for and whether the name is this value or not public repos is this or not so we are asserting on that so what what are we gaining with this so we are gaining uh, we are gaining the confidence that our application is working fine uh, all this flow like uh, we have some logic over here and then we are calling this uh, github api and so there can be more logic we are testing all that logic excluding this third party service integration uh, i mean we are stubbing the response from the third party service except that we are testing everything else okay so there are some um, some other approach where people simply mock the entire get github user profile uh, using mock it or something like that but i would recommend to use uh, tools like wire mock or mock server and stub the responses of the api endpoints instead of mocking the entire uh, methods using mock it or something like that because you are not going to test any of the logic in this method instead you are just mocking the whole method call using mockito which is not recommended so it is kind of using wire mock or mock server is nothing but using the mockito at the protocol level http protocol level not the entire method call okay so now going back to this we are testing uh, this one so this is the happy path how about the failure scenario so as per our implementation if there is any exception while talking to the github service it is going to throw github service exception and it should be handled by this exception handler and return this uh, response with a status code as 500 and then um, message uh, in, as part of the body so how we are going to test it so here we are setting the same stuff for this uh, users slash uh, whatever the name and we are saying return the response with 500 status so it is going to uh, throw error in this call it is going to throw 500 error here and it's going to be caught here and then throw github service exception so now we can assert the status is 500 server error and message is whatever the expected message we are going to uh, expect this message as part of the response body so this is how you can you can set up what kind of a response you want to get even you can simulate the slow responses for example um, you want to simulate some uh, slow responses and then maybe you have implemented some retry kind of a logic so in this case uh, you can use this with fixed delay or with fault or something like that so that you can simulate the uh, network uh, delays and all also okay so let us run and see so both are passing okay so this is how we have more control over uh, various scenarios like if you use actual third party uh, api you cannot uh, test this because you have no control over what is the response that third party service is returning okay in addition to this there is uh, another approach also like instead of uh, coding the stubs over here like this you can also use um, mappings and file based uh, setup also so in this another test we have almost same setup and instead of um, just using dynamic port uh, like this okay here we just specified only dynamic port in addition to that we also specify using files under class path wire mock what does that mean in our 
src test resources we have this folder called wiremark inside which we have a couple of folders like underscore underscore files and mappings so here we can set up uh, the mappings so earlier here we have stubbed like okay if the url pattern is this then uh, return a response with so and so uh, type content type and with so and so response body so like this we have uh, set up the stub using java code instead of this approach there is another approach where inside the mappings file you can create a json file and then specify mappings and you can add the um, mapping dummy mappings that uh, you are going to set up marks for so here i have a get request with so and so uh, url pattern then return a response with the status code and header and this is the actual body so like this you can set up the same stubs using this file based uh, setup and also you can uh, specify responses okay you want to return response like this so in that case instead of json body you can specify json file or something and then you can include uh, what is the file you want to use for response also okay so this is another approach for that you are uh, you need to specify where are the files and here we are using using files under class path and it, it is going to load automatically those files so that you don't have to uh, set up the stub like this you don't have to set up stub like this instead it is going to automatically read from these mappings and then set up the uh, stubs so here you can directly uh, make a call to this api and then assert it so personally i would prefer going with this route because using java code we have more control uh, if you want to set up some dynamic values and uh, programmatically you have more control over this uh, json based uh, setup but it is up to you which one fits for your needs you can follow uh, that approach so here we have a sample spring boot mock server demo application and let us see what are the dependencies we have so it is exact same application like we have seen with wiremark we are talking to the github api and then showing the github profile information it is exact same application and in this application instead of using wiremark we are going to use mock server so first let us see what are the dependencies we need for that so here this is the dependency we need for using mock server okay and there is a possibility where you can directly use this mock server or you can use along with test containers as well so we are going to show both the ways how we can use mock server okay so we are adding this test containers mock server module as well okay so now let us go back to our tests and here first let us see how we can write an integration test using mock server directly without using test containers so here we have a spring boot integration test and then here we declared client and server which is nothing but the mock server and using before all callback we are starting the mock server and using this dynamic property source we are overriding the default github base url with localhost colon whatever the dynamic mock server port we are uh, assigning to that and then after all callback we are stopping the mock server also um, we are resetting any uh, expectations that we set for uh, each of the tests before running any test um, method so that one um, setup that is set in one test is not going to interfere with other tests we are resetting all the uh, expectations on the mock server before running each test so we have mox uh, mvc and it is kind of a very similar to how we did it with wire mock also here we are setting up uh, expectation saying that on um, mock server when you get a request with get method and the url pattern matches with this rjx and then return the response with status code of 200 and with this uh, header content type is uh, application json and this is the actual uh, json response we would like to return so it is kind of almost very similar to uh, using wire mock and finally we are making a api call to our own api endpoint 
and then we are asserting whether the status is ok and because we uh, stub the response for this request we are expecting login should be whatever the username we are giving and uh, name and public repos to be this value ok and also just like Markito we can also verify whether certain request is actually made to the Wiremark server or not so in Markito if you remember once we use Markito and create a mock and use it we can assert using verify so and so method is called n times or not so similarly we can also do similar verification saying that on mock server verify whether it get a request uh, with get a method and so on so api endpoint exactly once so just to make sure that we actually hit the mock server with so and so endpoint okay and again similar uh, we can test the failure scenario also when we uh, make a request to this api endpoint return the response with status code 500 we can assert whether our api is returning 500 error with message uh, or not okay similar to wiremark we can also uh, specify to uh, have a slow uh, to simulate slow network connection we can specify uh, delays okay so we can specify okay give the response after uh, three seconds something like that okay so this is how we can use mock server let us run and see So it is passing. Next, instead of um, using low level mock server API, we can also use test containers and let us see how we can do that. So here again, we are creating a integration test and then we are using test containers JUnit 5 extension annotations to spin up the container, mock server container here. And we are specifying mock server 5.15.0 okay so test containers is going to spin up the mock server container and here we are overriding this github base url using mock server container get endpoint okay and we are creating a mock server client pointing to that host what are the host that is uh, spin up in a docker container we are uh, specifying that is the host and server port okay and then we are uh, resetting this client for every test run and it is uh, same instead of on the mock server directly we are setting these expectations on the mock server client which is the rest of the piece is exactly same okay so it's kind of a uh, simplifies a little bit we instead of using low level apis we can um, use a little bit higher higher level abstraction let us run and see So it is working fine. So this is how you can test your application which is talking to external REST APIs uh, using tools like Wiremark and Mark Server. So I hope this video is helpful and thanks for watching. Bye bye.